Window shading has always been considered simply decorative, but in a smart home, they can be so much more. AWE presents Smart Home Essential Series. Four things to consider when specifying roller blinds for your smart home. Choosing the fabric for a blind isn't just about the colour or the pattern. The type of fabric also matters. For example, in a cinema room, you're going to want to use a blackout material which won't let any light through. This works even better with the addition of side channels and a bottom sill that will stop light getting around the sides and the bottom. But in a kitchen, the blind's main purpose could be to reduce glare from the sun or simply for privacy. In this instance, sheer fabric would be the perfect choice. Also, different materials have various properties when it comes to solar absorption and transmittance, assisting with the temperature control of your property in an energy efficient way. Getting the blind the correct size is crucial. Any minor errors, even only by a few millimetres, could mean that the blind would have to be remade. It's highly recommended to measure the width of the window at three points, the top, middle and bottom, taking the smaller size for the blind so we know that it will fit all the way down. A recess window is probably the simplest to understand. The blind's casing fits inside the recess. Do take care that the drop misses any handles. Normally, you deduct around 3mm from the window width so that the blind would fit correctly in the recess. If the window is not in a recess, or if the window opens inwards, you may need to surface mount the blind. We recommend these to be slightly larger than the window itself to ensure maximum privacy and natural light control. Obviously, seeing an exposed roller blind above your window is the most aesthetically pleasing thing, so think about a fascia to conceal the unit. Corner windows can be a bit of a challenge. The common way of dealing with this is to use button pass. This is where one shade is the entire length of the window and the second one butts up against it. The shorter blind is the window size minus the depth of the first shade and bracket. It's also worth considering the way you want the blind to drop from the roller. You have standard roll where the fabric rolls towards the window or you've got reverse roll where the fabric rolls away from the window leaving any clearance for window handles. Manual blinds are fine, they just can't be integrated into a smart home. For blinds to be truly smart, they should work without any human interaction. This requires motorised blinds, so power is needed by the windows. If it's too late to run the cables, there are battery operated solutions available with Qmotion wire free blinds that have a range of integration options included too. Now wouldn't it be cool if your blinds could close at sunset, open in the morning if it's light out, but if it's still dark, stay closed to maintain privacy. Even blinds with simple contact closure control can do this if integrated into your control and automation system like URC Top Control. Automation systems could also be used for energy efficiency. On very hot days, the blinds could all close automatically to reduce solar energy entering the property. As you can see, specifying, measuring and controlling blinds is quite a complex job. At AWE, in partnership with Silent Gliss, we offer a complete design, measuring and installation service to all registered integrators. Check out more videos below and please support our channel by hitting the like button. To stay up to date with our latest videos, remember to subscribe and check the bell icon so you get notified whenever new content is released. If you have any questions, let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Thanks for watching.